So I've made two videos now on how to make your breakfast and lunch vegan and uh, a lot of people are trying out those recipes and they're trying out a vegan diet which is great but I'm also getting a lot of questions about uh, overeating, people are worried about gaining weight when switching to this lifestyle and I'm getting this asked a lot from uh, women who've come from paths of disordered eating. Now, I'm not in favor of calorie restriction. I think the only way for this to be a long-lasting, consistent, healthy lifestyle is for you to at least, at least eat until you're full. I've seen way more vegans go off this lifestyle because they underate and became unhealthy rather than overeating, so I never try and worry people about overeating. I think undereating should be your main concern. Low-fat, whole foods, vegan diets are low in caloric density, they increase your metabolism, and intervention trials have shown that they can cause weight loss without any kind of prescribed limits on energy intake. So for most people to worry about overeating, it's just not reasonable. You shouldn't be worried about overeating. And if any of you start feeling like you're getting really tired, fatigued, maybe feeling a bit depressed, uh, if your libido is lower, if you're having trouble getting erections, you don't have the same sex drive as before, or if you're not having your period anymore, those are really big signs that you're under eating, so you, if you have any of those signs, you definitely should start eating more. Now, there are some people who switch to this lifestyle and they say they've gained weight, and some say they've gained a lot of weight really quickly and it just keeps packing on, and there's a few reasons for that. Uh, some people say it's metabolic damage but I think that's only true to some extent. Um, yeah, if you've come from a background of really calorie restricting or anorexia or bulimia, then yeah, your metabolism will slow down, your hormone levels will be a little unbalanced, but I think worst case scenario, after maybe four, five, six months, uh, things should return back to normal and you shouldn't really be gaining that much weight that quickly. So I think this whole metabolic damage thing is a little overblown. It doesn't really make sense to me that somebody could gain a real amount of weight just from going from a past of calorie restriction. So I think there's a few reasons why you might hear some people complain about massive weight gain while switching to this diet. These people might not actually be telling you the truth. A lot of people who complain about weight gain when switching to this diet are women who've come from anorexia and bulimia and they have body image issues and bad relationships with their food. And some of these women have sent me messages through Facebook and YouTube and they say, oh, please help me, I'm gaining a ton of weight when I switch to this diet, but then when I see their before and after pictures, their before picture they looked anorexic and now they look like they're at a healthy body weight. So you can't really believe everything you hear from these people because it sounds like a lot of them are still dealing with body image issues. Now, there's a second group of people who haven't come from any background of anorexia, bulimia, or any kind of disordered eating, and they're at a healthy body weight, or maybe they're a bit overweight, and they wanted to lose weight, and when they switched to this diet, they either started gaining weight, or they their weight loss just stalled and they can't lose any weight, and there's a few reasons for that as well. A lot of people who first start off on this high-carb, low-fat diet, they still eat out a lot, they eat a lot of pre-made food, and a lot of this food does have a lot of oils in it, and they might be eating a lot more fat than they think they're eating, so that might be why they're gaining weight or not losing any weight. Also, some of these people do snack on nuts, and nuts are a healthy food, and I do recommend eating them, but you really do have to watch out and not eat too many because they are still fat calories. Um, if you're snacking on nuts, you could easily eat like four or 500 extra calories from fat, and that might be what's causing weight gain or stalling your weight loss when you switch to this diet. Fruit smoothies and fruit juices can also cause stalls in weight loss or even cause weight gain because they are a processed food. Uh, the more processing you do to a food, the easier it is to absorb, the more calories you can get in, the faster the absorption rate, and that can contribute to weight gain in some people. So if you are having troubles with that, then definitely cut down on the fruit juice and the smoothies. Now, don't get me wrong, smoothies are still very healthy, but if you're having trouble with losing weight or you're even gaining weight, then eating as much whole foods as possible will definitely help you. But for green smoothies, where you're just mixing up things like kale and broccoli into a smoothie, then those are fine. Now, with all that said, I want all of you to know that you don't have to look like a fitness model. You don't have to look like Rich Roll. You don't have to look like Freely. Having abs, 
being shredded. It has nothing to do with health. It has nothing to do with your athletic performance. It has nothing to do with your happiness. And it has nothing to do with the animals you're saving. Look, good looks are nice, but you should focus on just eating well, being good to yourself, being happy, focus on athletic performance, and good looks will come. So don't worry about not having abs, not being shredded, because none of that shit really matters. So just keep making those vegan gains. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.